at Madex 2025 in South Korea. We're now on the booth of LIG Next One. They are showcasing for the very first time the new KSAM-2 Sufas-2 air missile. This is currently under development. They expect to finish the development around 2030s. So it is a longer range missile compared to the in-service KSAM. Both missiles are fired from the KVLS uh, VLS system uh, fitted on most uh, current uh, Navy vessels. Uh, KSAM is actually fitted on uh, pretty much all major surface combatants in the ROC Navy fleet. So this one is bigger, while KSAM can be quad packed in KVLS-1, uh, KSAM-2 can only be fitted uh, as a unitary missile per VLS cells. With this missile, LIG Next One will provide multi-layer solution to protect uh, vessels from uh, air threat. The KC Wiz 2 is also under development. Also, it will finish development around uh, 2030. It will go on the FFX Batch 3, on the KDDX, uh, and it will replace the in-service goalkeeper on the uh, Rock Navy vessels. The ammunition, uh, which is uh, so spread like airburst. Uh, to counter also UAVs is uh, under development with uh, Pungsan. KSAM, uh, so as I mentioned, is on board most uh, ROC Navy vessels. Uh, it's also offered for export. Uh, for example, uh, they are under negotiation with Malaysia for the LMS Batch 2, a vessel uh, that is uh, under contract with Turkey. And uh, we expect uh, this missile to be on board the Turkish nav vessels for the uh, Royal uh, Malaysian Navy. And uh, obviously, the launch customer for the new KSAM-2 should be the ROC Navy. And once uh, this is mass produced and proven with the ROC Navy, LAG Next One is hopeful to be able to export this longer range uh, missile to export customers.